an ounce of practice is worth more than ton of theory. We know the importance of practice and hence we have created this Python practice series for you. Every Saturday, every Saturday we will bring one new session of Python practice. Hello everyone, welcome to the Python practice session. In this session, we will study how to write a program to calculate the factorial of any number. So factorial is nothing but the multiplication of an integer and all the integers below it. 5 factorial is 5 multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, then 2 and then 1. That is 120. 3 factorial is 3 multiplied by 2, 1. That is 6. So let's start coding to find the factorial of any number. First, accept the number n and convert it into an integer. Initialize variable f with value 1. Now write the while loop and the condition n greater than or equal to 1. We will be using a decrement loop over here. So the value will start from n and it will become 1. Inside the while in end, we will write f star equal to n. This means f equal to f multiplied by n. In the next line, we will do the decrement that is n minus equal to 1. It is same as n equal to n minus 1. After the loop, print the value of f like this. Let's run the code and enter the value as 5. Well, you got the correct output. You can try with different values and check your program. Well, this was the factorial program with the while loop. Now, we will study how to write the factorial program using for loop. Just like the previous program, we will accept the input n and convert it into an integer. We will declare the variable f equal to 1. Then write for i in range and in bracket n comma 0 comma minus 1. In the indent of for loop write f star equal to i is the same program as the last one but is written for for loop. So now you know you can write a factorial program using for loop or while loop. There is one more way and it's super super easy. Import math library like this. Then take the input in variable n like this. And then write f equal to math dot factorial and in bracket n. In the next line, we will print the result like this. Well, your program is ready. Here, we have used factorial function in the math library. Well, these are the three ways to calculate factorial. If you have any query, please put that in the comment box. Thanks for watching.